What's up guys, uh, welcome back, this is your boy again, Adam Slink, how you not day, welcome to another video, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Well, today is another beautiful weekend, and uh, today is Saturday, I hope you guys are really, really enjoying your day, but someone who needs to be careful currently is none other than David Doe, because according to Kemi Lawyer, David Doe will soon be on police wanted list. Apparently, David Doe is harboring a drug dealer. <laughs> well, that's coming from Kenya Lulayo. She said she released a video on TikTok explaining the whole scenario, everything. And uh, even on, uh, on her Twitter handle, she said, Someone's, someone on David Doe's private jet is a drug trafficker. Many pilots are refusing to fly their delicate jet. David Doe's must weed them out. Drug abuse keeps ruining lives. David must help crop this war on drug before it gets into serious trouble with global drug enforcement agencies. Apparently, you know, eh? one of the good things about owning a private jet you know, that jet owned, apparently owned by David O, you know, by now, we can all conclude that that jet is not owned by David O. It's owned by their delicates. It's one of their jets. But David O use it most of the time. So, David O can still also call that jet his jet. Abi? Because it's his father's jet. So, he can also say, oh, this is my jet as well. Well, that aside, so, a Kevin Lawyer is saying someone in David Doe's camp is always trafficking drugs whenever they are traveling abroad. You know, one thing about in a private jet is, is that you do not pass through this regular security check that we pass through whenever I want to fly commercial, commercial or this uh, jet filled with so many people. They don't usually go through that many security checks. The house of certain privileges. A private jet owner has some certain privileges. There is not everything they actually check. So maybe the drug trafficker, who is David O's friend, is using that avenue to traffic drugs without David O knowing. Without David O knowing. And for instance, if a private jet is searched by a, a drug enforcement agency, anywhere in the world, and they discover drugs in that jet. Firstly, the owner of that jet, the superstar in that jet will be arrested first. Before trying to find a link, how the drug uh, got to that jet, if the person is involved or not, and everything, weaknesses, maybe your name must have definitely been tarnished in the world and uh, of course uh, it will take another few weeks or a month before they can finally clear you so if actually this story is true david do needs to be careful you know came your lawyer most of the time <laughs> not be everything may talk with true shall but some of the some of the things that she has actually revealed over time some of them usually comes out to be true but this one, let her just say, maybe she's just trying to make content. Or maybe she's actually serious. Or maybe not real facts. So either way, David Doe just needs to be careful. Seriously need to be careful because David Doe, the last thing he needs now, while on war tour, enjoying, him, enjoying his life and enjoying the album Timeless and the so much success, is to have a drug case around his neck. Nah, 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 nah. So let's listen to Kemulu Lawyer. Let's listen to, listen to her in just a few seconds. You have to be very careful, David. And you go on in a plane, it won't be drugs. Yes, Davido. There is somebody on your private jet, your father's jet, as a matter of fact, that's carrying drugs. The drugs is taken out of Nigeria to London, specifically London. Okay, cocaine in a suitcase. And when you guys land at Heathrow, Gatwick, wherever you're landing, you know what it is with private jet owners. They don't always go through the same rigorous immigration things that we go through. Yeah, they do their fingerprint, everything, private jet, rich people. But these days, you know, David, that sometimes they're going from that plane into the car. 
somebody is using your father's plane to traffic drugs. I'm going to tell you straight up. All right. One thing about me is I'm very passionate about drug abuse, drug trafficking, all that. Okay. Why? Because many young people in Nigeria's lives have been ruined because of this stuff. This stuff was not in Nigeria. It was all in America, Canada, all this stuff. Cocaine is ruining lives. Crystal methamphetamine is ruining lives. Tramadol is ruining lives. And I just completed an 18 month campaign on my own platforms. We'll educate and we about drugs. David, you have a meeting to have with your father, everybody. British authorities don't say it for me. Okay? I will not tell you who and who and who. Investigative journalists, you know me? British authorities are telling me our pilots to help me. And this is the reason why your father cannot find a pilot to fly that plane. Okay? Remember when you were going to Qatar for World Cup? You had to fly in a separate whatever. Okay? That's the reason. Honest to God, you don't want... <laughs> You don't want global authorities to know about this. There's a drug trafficker on your team. That's EBG. And find out who it is. And he ain't be cocaine. What they'll deliver if any con London. And see cocaine and ban London. Women, you know. But they mention big drugs in the plane. But it's your job to now go and weed out the entire 30 BG. Okay? But by our team, I want to go and team at 20 lower. 20 meru. Okay? Now, you can hear her correctly. But then we do needs to be very, very careful. Uh, I thank God she she wasn't accusing Davido directly that Davido is trafficking it. He said she said Davido person, someone close to Davido doing that in his father's private jet. That jet is not owned by Davido. I, I think we have already discussed that already. Oh, owning a private jet is a really big deal, oh, not just a big deal. Do you know the cost that comes with it? Owning a private jet, every month you pay. Every month there are certain aviation fees you pay. So owning a private jet is not a plus one, except you are multi billionaire, you multi rich, and your money is coming. There's an inflow of cash, inflow of cash coming into your bank account, going through you every month. If not, you can't own a private jet. Not all musicians can boast of owning a private jet, except they start no that lucrative monthly income. Well, David does said he bought a private jet as at you know far back as four years ago. But come on, man, that's not his private jet. That's owned by his own daddy. So meanwhile, let's uh, move past that. And uh, what? No, no, we, we are not moving past that. T still on that private jet talk. Let's check out what uh, Akon said about owning a private jet. You know, Akon, eh, as at far back years ago, when it was actually pumping, like being the biggest star to ever come from Africa, fine, lovely voice. You know, he owned a very big mansion, helicopter. This guy even owned a... Uh, a petrol station right inside his mansion. Can you imagine? I watched one of his uh, house creep video as at that time, and I saw this guy who, who he owned a petrol uh, tank just uh, outside his house where he can just easily just uh, pump in fire and just move. And a helicopter. Well, <laughs> now looking back at uh, what he did, now he is saying, I attempted to own a jet but it only lasted six months i saw that thing so fast whenever whatever you do never own a jet he attempted to own a jet and sold it in less than six months and uh and he also advised whatever anyone do that person should never own a private jet there are costs that comes with a private jet. Private jet is not just what you see. Maybe you buy a private jet and you are enjoying it and enjoying it. <laughs> the cost that comes with a private jet, eh, the money you use to buy that private jet, in the, last, in the next two years or three years, you may have paid taxes, this one, that, and the money accumulated in the next three years will even be enough to buy another private jet. The money that you have spent maintaining that private jet will be enough to buy another private jet so please 
Uh, except you are multi billionaire, you know, you have that money. Good and fine. Private jet is for big, but that's why I say it's for big people. You cannot just go and own a private jet. You can own a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Rolls Royce, a, a, all those cars. Good and fine. But when you are going to private jet, that's another ball game. You know, it's from here. You are going to this place. So, so you really need to trend carefully whenever you are talking about private jet. That's why at that time, if you do say buy private jet, people that knows about private jet were just laughing at people who do who don't know nothing about private jet. Me, myself, I thought he, he bought private jet actually that time. I would say, damn, damn. I was even arguing it. But now, uh, knowing what, uh, checking out, uh, checking things that I know about private jet now, nah, come on. Private jet is just, it's not just home. <laughs> there are so many things that comes with it as well. That is why when uh, all those uh, celebrities buy private jet, they also put it for commercial use as well. They also put it for commercial use. Whenever they want to use the private jet, they make it available for them. And whenever they are not using it, they have a company they can lease the private jet to so that they can be using it to do commercial work. To those people want to rent out private jet. You know, that is the way you can balance the cost. Balance the cost of maintenance, balance the cost of everything. And it's not good for a private jet to a jet not to be flown for a very long time. It's not good. Not Even a car, if you leave a car in one place for a very long time and you come back to, to drive it, one or two things might get spoiled. So private jet is good. That is, that is always flying, you know, always flying at least uh, five times or ten times a month. Just go and read more about it, guys. Then let's talk about Asake. Nobody knew Asake had a son. Asake had a son with a very popular dancer based in UK. And nobody knew it until yesterday. Yesterday when he performed, sold out 19,000 capacity. Capacity at uh, Barclays uh, Center in New York City. Becoming the first Nigeria artist, artist to ever do that. 19,000 capacity and he brought out this, uh, his adorable son with this uh, uh, dancer. What's her name? Her name is uh, Sarah Olanira. I think she's in Nigeria, but uh, based in New York City, Austin, sorry, not UK. Based in uh in New York City, Austin, Sarah Olani Ra. That is a pure Yoruba name. Well, well, she just became a baby mama to Asake, the new hype of the town, the new deal of the town. Apparently, according to Street, they said that Asake we over we overthrown David O and Whiskey. But Bono Boy will still remain the top artist in coming from Africa, followed by Asake, Whiskey, David Doe. Then Rema will still occupy number fifth, the, the fifth spot. That's according to Street But for me, for Asake to go up that much, he needs to do 10 years in the industry and still be, and still be. Not just two albums. We need many songs from Asake. And you'll still be among the best before we can say, okay, you are you are ripe enough. You are ripe enough to occupy that space. That special space. But right now, I already told you my list now. I gave you my honest list. Although everybody have their own honest list as well. I said number one. The number one uh, musician currently coming from Nigeria is Bonner Boy. Then number two is Davido because of uh, the album. You know, they both have an album. And number three, I will still give it to Whiskey. Then number four, I I was battling between Asake and Rema. Then I said Asake. Then number five, Rema. Rema's song, Calm Down, became the first Nigerian music, African music to eat. One billion streams on Spotify. You know how much be that? You know how much be that? <laughs> you know how much be that? Well, thank you guys for watching your boy again. I'm Sling. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.